how are you? We are starting in very short moments, so this is the great time to say hello and welcome to my studio. And we are going to talk about uh, Finover Prima Molds release. So if you can share that uh, video with your friends, share that live stream in the groups uh, which are focused on that, so create with Prima. Finover and Friends of Print Studio and um, of course you can share on your own wall as well. We are starting in a few minutes so mm, thank you so much for coming. I'm just going to make, give myself some space and to check on my <laughs> other device if everything is working. Let's look for Prima. And I will check if... Hello! Can you hear me and can you see me? This is important before we officially start. Hello to Finland. Hello to... Uh, well, a lot of nations. Hello, bonsoir. <laughs> to friends. <laughs> and Canada. That's great. I'm, pu I'm putting um, the chat on the second screen. Hopefully this is going to work. Posts. It's always entertaining. Hello to Estonia. Hello Ingrid. Hello Vincenza. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm happy it is good. Hello to Peru. Oh, it's going very slow in, on here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's me. Okay, New Zealand. <sighs> so, uh, what is the plan? Um, in uh, about five minutes, we're going to start uh, the official reveal. And, uh, just in case if you missed that, um, uh, my friend Frank, uh, a Prima designer, he was showing his uh, strawberry milkshake paper collection um, just like two hours ago. So you can also check that live stream later if you'd like to see super strawberry and sweet and summery collection from Frank. This is, uh, this is also the time when it is released. So I hope this is going to be inspiring for you and you're going to like it. And I can see plenty of people joining, 117 already. That's wonderful. I hope you're having great uh, beginning of the week because my weekend and my week uh, last week was very busy. And just uh, to let you know that uh, officially on our social media, uh, this is the week of the release, so stay tuned to Finavar Studio Instagram account and my own Finavar and stay tuned on Facebook to see um, the projects and sneak peeks of the projects uh, which are inspired by the new products. So I'm showing the new designs of the molds and I try to make a lot of fun uh, videos, but there will be uh, also videos on like, tips on, on how to use them, how to paint them, how to how they look in the finished projects as well so and that is going to be great uh, moment to learn about molds as well uh, if you are new to that no worries we are going to keep you covered with ideas and information on uh, how to use them in the best possible way uh, and okay i can see sharon is already here i started early so this is not her fault she is doing great She's going to be answering the questions regarding release. She is uh, one of the people in the office. Holly is also one of the person, people, one of the people uh, who are in the office. So they will know things about shipping or anything that is uh, regard, you know, regarding the um, uh, the release. And I am going to entertain you with the uh, projects. Hello, witam, witam ludzi z Polski. Uh, so we've got uh, maybe two more minutes before we start. I have a basket here and in this basket 
I put uh, all of the molds and of course I have elements made in the molds and also some of the projects to inspire you as well. Um, you're going to see them in close up in the social on the social media very soon. In the coming days we will be posting them and um, you will be able to inspect the details of course. So um, don't worry if you can't really see now, they will be showing up on Finnevar Studio and Finnevar Instagram. Uh, and of course Prima is probably going to repost them as well. Hello, hello everybody, good to see you. Just to remind you, if you'd like to share this live stream with your crafty friends who may be interested, that would be the uh, great thing to do. It's much easier for you to do it than for me when I'm uh, trying to um, work on two screens to, to read the chat and to make sure everything is visible. So if you know somebody who may be interested in this topic, you know, uh, sharing is caring. <laughs> So that sounds uh, like a good plan. Okay, I can see we've got people from Canada as well. Hello, hello. Dzień dobry do osób z Polski. I can see Polish friends joining as well. So it is great to see you all. Is it okay? There's a question to Sharon about Create and Craft. If it's going to be available at Create and Craft in the UK, uh, I think Sharon has to answer that question. But as far as I know, uh, the answer is no, at least not now. I don't know anything about plans going that way and. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, and uh, but Sean has to confirm from her side about creating craft in the UK. Okay, hello, hello. Hello to South Africa. <laughs> Will they be available anywhere in New Hampshire? This is a good question for the retailers. There are multiple retailers in, in the uh, countries. So um, the best thing you can do if you are not sure if it's going to be in your favorite shop is to let them know that you are interested uh, in the product and they can order that for you. And the more you tell the shops, they need to, um, they need to uh, get that. Okay, so Sharon was answering about create and craft. Yeah. Uh, so that was the answer. Uh, we don't know if they purchased anything. You would have to ask them directly. Okay, are you ready? Do you think it's the time? I think it's five past uh, the time we should start. And um, as Sharon is saying now, uh, the ordering is just opened, so you can tell your favorite shops to place the order directly with Prima or to go to one of the um, one of the stockists, like the, the one of the wholesalers who, who are working locally, and then it's going to work. Okay, so let me switch that camera to the table. Okay, uh, I just want to say that especially for this occasion, uh, I took a clean mat. So this is clean mat and I hope this is going to help me with the presentation. Uh, because uh, during my live streams, I always use the mat, which is already dirty because there is no point in keeping that clean. It never is working. Uh, yes, there are multiple retailers in the UK, as far as I know. I know about I Love Mixed Media, The Mad Scrapper, Art From The Heart, um, Amelia's Creative Crafts and um, Hobbylicious. You should check with them. There are multiple. And uh, there are also, if you are from Northern Ireland, you should check the one which is uh, here in Ireland, Mixed Media Place. 
So <clears throat> let's start with something probably, let's say, exciting. <laughs> All of them are exciting. I'm going to start with two uh, molds that I just showed on my social media now. <laughs> so this is part of the release that I am probably well known because uh, I am the darker side of Prima. So here we have Steampunk Hearts and, and Love Machine. And these are two, uh, two molds which are inspired by Steampunk hearts, mechanical hearts, but also anatomical hearts as well. So they may be a little bit more edgy, a little bit more um, into <laughs> masculine projects, steampunk projects, and anything else that would be um, more into this kind of style. Not, you know, it's not just anatomical hearts, but I would like to show you some fun features of these molds. This one is quite large uh, mechanical heart and then some elements to go with that, mostly the gears. And this one is uh, named Love Machine. And the smaller version of the hearts has the hearts with the gears, but also just anatomical one and then some elements to stack with that and then some cool elements which are traditional hearts with the gears so i'm going to show you how they look in real life so this is love machine so you can see the size of the element coming out of this mold and this is painted with black gesso and waxes. This is not nothing complicated. So Love Machine would have this really dimensional heart, really nice with a lot of beautiful details, all of that. And there are multiple elements you can combine with that. So check the size of the gears which are coming in that set. I'm showing on my hand so you can imagine the size. There are also some smaller ones, of course. And the smaller elements are um, quite good size as well. So you can see they're all steampunk inspired and there are plenty, plenty of details. And as usual, I'm trying to fill all the space in the mold. So there are also little details like screw heads in that set. Um, some decorated hearts, some more of the screw heads. So what is cool about this, uh, this concept, it is designed to be working together and you can stack one element on another. So when you get the mold, this one, of course, will work for any larger project because this is quite big element. So you can put on furniture on large canvas or a big box. You can put elements one on the top of another and you can create really nice dimensional look very easily so if you're going to stick them together you're going to get even more interesting depth and it is going to get really dimensional as well so you can play with mixing and matching this is what i love about um gears and elements that they go with everything but I really like my molds to be alterable, so you can change them the way you like. So, you know, if you'd like to build your own way, you can. And just to give you more ideas, this can go under, this can go on the top, and this can go on the top again. You can mix and match and play. You know what I'm trying to explain, I hope. <laughs> so this is how they are designed. I really like them to work together. So the love machine is the larger one and going the same way, but for the smaller projects, I made the one which is called Steampunk Hearts and it is similar, but not the same because there are other elements in that set as well. For example, there will be very unique um, metal hearts, which I hope you're going to like as well. 
So in this set, we have smaller size of the mechanical cart and anatomical cart, uh, which is in the similar size. So you can use them together if you want to, or uh, you can just pick, mix and match and build your own. So we have two hearts like that. And then we have design of the heart, which is metal with the elements. And they come in many sizes and options. So you've got more traditional uh, shape of the heart, maybe not so edgy, not so steampunk-like, but still a little bit with this twist because of the metal plates and there are little details like mini nails on the top as well. Uh, so of course, together with that, there are elements of different sizes and more of the hearts as well. So if you need a really small heart for the card or for the ATC, they are here in this set as well. And if you want to build something, there will be gears you can stack again on the top of your elements and play with different concepts to get this dimensional look. Just showing you from the side. This is super easy and this is how you can build your own special elements. So you will have elements like this. There is quite nice smaller version of that element. Thank you. I'm happy you like the details. <laughs> I, I'm really pleased with the way how they look like after production. So it is great. The molds are such a great quality. So we have smaller gears as well. So you can play with building your own designs on this set. Of course, if you would like to make something different, something special, you can play with that. Okay, so stacking is one of the things I really like because this is what I do in my projects. This is what I really like to do. I like to make things unique. So I wanted to encourage everybody to make their own designs instead of just having one and playing with it. So, you know, just having one and not even playing with it. So uh, just to show you the mini, mini details in that set, <laughs> this is probably the smallest heart in the whole set, tiny. And then there will be screw heads. And even on the tiny heart, the detail is amazing. Okay. So they're sisters, like older sister and younger sister. And there's one which is larger for bolder uh, projects for those of you who like to uh, work on the bigger uh, canvases or they, you'd like to make bigger boxes or furniture elements that is perfect and this one is uh, towards smaller projects of course but the same quality the same depth and the same way of thinking and just to show you the project i was doing with this mold there is a teapot i made it is it was a class for my patrons and inside here i already used one of the hearts and i combine it with mechanical elements and the elements from the molds so just in case if you're wondering of course our traditional mechanicals they look absolutely stunning when you put them on the top of these as well just showing you the options that is also possible Okay, so, you know, imagination is the limit. Here I was using the Steampunk Heart set and I used that to make that sample with uh, the details inside and also that gear, it is taken from one of the, <laughs> one of my molds, I've not, not, not from this one, but very similar. You can see tiny heart here, very beautiful. Soon this sample will be possible to see on my social media. So far, my patrons, they have, that was, that was special project for VIPs. I was doing that during live stream for my patrons. So if you want to stay, you know, become a patron, I just recommend, you know, this is a cool thing. And this effect of rust is absolutely beautiful. I need to uh, brag a little bit for a moment. I did it. It's very cool. <laughs> so this is the first set. 
well, first set, first two sets, but the they are in the same topic. Steampunk hearts, smaller. Put them on the wish list if you like them. <laughs> and love machine, larger. And both of them, they're of course the same quality silicone. You can use it with the hot glue. You can use it with the uh, resin. You can do it. <coughs> you can use it with any other kind of material you usually use with the molds. So. I'm checking if you have any questions. <laughs> yeah, the cardiology. <laughs> you needed me in your life because you needed hearts like that. You needed special anatomical hearts, I think. <laughs> Who knew? I always think this is more like, you know, hard rock style when you create things for, uh, you know, people who like maybe some kind of the you know heavier music they like to uh, maybe hunt maybe they like to do things which are connected with steampunk style or they are just you know uh, more interested in science so you never know imagination is the limit and there's a lot of traditional parts already so let it was high time to add something else to the bucket Yay! <laughs> I'm happy I could make these for you because I absolutely love them. <laughs> yes, hearts are great for any occasion. So I think I'm going to show you the second, uh, let's say the second pair. And we're going to stay in the steampunk style. So we've got Mecha mecha moth and nocturnal insects and these are again uh, the molds which are kind of sister and brother or siblings but uh, they are different because this one is more into insects and just a little bit little screw heads and this one is more steampunk all over because of the extra gears so uh, we've got mecha moth first and this is the one that was probably showing you as one of the first ones. And this one has really large size, size of the moth with the steampunk elements on it. And then smaller size of it. And then also two butterflies to make it a little bit softer. And elements to build the stuff on the top. So, and this is going to be better for the larger projects, of course. And... This one is very special to my heart because, of course, there's there's one steampunk moth as well, different size to one that is here. But there are multiple uh, moths uh, which are more traditional, like without any steampunk add-ons. And what I absolutely wanted, they are just separate wings as well. So there are separate wings in that set you can use for your fairy-like project or dragonfly-like projects. You never know what may happen. So I'm going to show them in real life so you can see the detail as well. I hope you like them really because, oh my God, they are my babies. I have everything sorted so nothing is going to be lost. <laughs> I'm very happy you like them. <laughs> so let's let's start with this one. This is the one on the top here, uh, Mecha Moth. This is the size of the largest element. So you can see amazing detail on the wings. Um, these wings are really very much like in nature. So that is absolutely beautiful. Then we have, of course, steampunk design on the moth. And uh, even with the extra little screw heads on the body. So that is fun. And together with that, we have this design of the butterfly. This is the smaller version of the moth. And um, they come in multiple sizes. So the smallest, the smallest is going to be like this. And the mini butterfly is going to be like this. But even on the small ones, the details are absolutely beautiful. 
Oh, thank you, Gabby. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. So this is the design. Again, black gesso and uh, metallic waxes uh, used for decoration. So I'm showing you this. And then, <laughs> and then some uh, steampunk elements to go with that. Oh, one more butterfly. So there will be gears of different shapes and sizes. So you can stack them on the top of the design as well, or you can put them under if you prefer. I'm just showing you options now. I think the smallest is this one. And you can see there are also just plain pebbles as well, which is nice, I think. So if you want to decorate your mold in a different way, you can just work on the unique design yourself. You can play, mix and match. And you can even finish with a pebble on the top if you want to. And then you can add details on the wings, for example. <laughs> Just showing you some ideas. And then you can layer like this. This is my, one of my favorite options. So you can play to create a unique design by mixing and matching. So mm -hmm. I'm happy you like the moth. Yes, I am absolutely a huge fan of the resin because it is... Um, it is quick and you can create a lot of elements at one time for yourself. And it just makes my life easier when I need to make a lot of elements at one time. It really does happen. Okay, so this would be the set, which is called Mecha Moth. Now let's look at this more uh, natural set. So there is another size of this one. So this is between these two, larger than the small one and smaller than this one. That goes on the top. This is the same design, but different size. But then we go to the separate wings. And I picked the design of the wings, which is very neutral. It may be dragonfly, it may be fairy, it may be moth. <laughs> Uh, so that is uh, something I really wanted to have. So you can get that in two sizes in this mold. So this is larger and smaller. Oh. So, oh, please. So we've got wings like that uh, in that mold. And you can, of course, start to think what kind of element would love to have wings like that. I think there are many things that would like to uh, fly on the separate wings. <laughs> so again, this is an invitation to build, mix and match. If you would like to add wings to any of the projects, uh, any of the elements, you have the option of the, dragon on, the dragonfly or uh, option of the moth wings. And in the same set, there is probably the most famous moth of them all. Uh, you probably recognize that shape because if people think about the moth, they were going to uh, describe this one, the one that has like a little school on the top. And it got famous because of the movie, <laughs> uh, The Silence of the Lambs. So I couldn't just stop myself. And this is also the moth that is partly visible in my logo. So I had to add that one. Again, it looks very, very cute. And of course, it is dark, black and so, but I will show you the project where it is painted in a very different way and you're going to see it is beautiful. <laughs> so we've got these ones and they're repeated in multiple sizes so you can find the size which is going to be good for you. So we have two different designs of the mods in different positions. <laughs> So you can find the one that is sitting and the one that is flying. Oops. And then there will be larger screw heads. 
medium sized and finally small ones I'm fighting with the static here that is something that uh, you can use to add extra details to the mods and of course to any, to any other project because screw heads are always useful we can pretend something is attached when it's really not attached <laughs> so i really like them to be present in most of the projects so i will let them sit in here for a moment and i would like to show you the project that is based on the large moth from that set so this big moth is included in this project and I think it looks absolutely stunning, to be honest. This is also the class I made a video for my patrons. So this is available if you are my patron, guys. You could get the access to that instantly. <laughs> and I had a great time using uh, this one here. It's so big that it's amazing statement on the project. You can see smaller butterfly used here as well. And a couple of the gears. But here is the place where the attention goes so you can see how this one got into that combination thank you very much iren i'm so happy you like it and just to show you the mods they don't have to be always dark um this is the uh set of elements that comes from this set so that moth and all these little ones there, here or here. And this is more romantic. And finally, this is the summer garden inspired canvas I made yesterday with my VIP patrons. And I wanted to show you the moth in the pastel version in the green and purple and violet and the touch of brown so here's number one and the gear of course and here's number two and number three so they don't have to be dark but just showing what you can do with that you know just showing and giving you the ideas there are two of them which I didn't use yet. They are really cute. <laughs> so all of that is coming into my social media. You're going to see the close-up photos very soon. So you're going to have um, you know, a reference if you'd like to see which elements were used. Of course, there will be always information. <laughs> so this color, just in case if you're wondering, this is 90% violet from liquid acrylics and I added delicate touches here with the brown burnt sienna and this lovely green is in fact liquid acrylic uh, lime uh, green I really recommend that was beautiful combination so let's look at another one <laughs> I should probably ask which one is your favorite so far because which the, which of the you know designs is your favorite? Because it's very important question for the designer to learn that. Oh, I'm so happy! Like I know I'm I love them, but it's great to see when people get excited about my designs. Really, really, I hope you're going to make beautiful art with these. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. I put them in the right bag. <laughs> it's also uh, very important for me that you really um, feel inspired when you look at this, uh, because that makes me more confident that my choices are the right ones and I'm not the only one having you know this a bit crazy ideas 
And because I think there's uh, a place on the market for everyone and I'm trying to fit into a little bit uh, more edgy and naughty um, space because Prima has a lot of beautiful traditional designs. So I'm trying not to duplicate that. Uh, I'm trying to go a little bit other way. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Thank you very much. So that was three and four. I'm thinking which set I should show you now. A bit of hydration. Okay, maybe... Maybe... Let's go with the thing that you could see um, by accident on one of the samples already. Let's go to the frames. There are two molds with the frames this time and one is called baroque frames and the second was one uh, called locks and keys there is a frame but also there are um, many of the door plates and keys in that set oh three and four oh i'm so happy i do grungy and dark exactly we need to do some grungy and dark <laughs> And yeah, I, well, I love adding wings as well. So I think we're on the same page. <laughs> Separate wings. Yeah, I think that was just this right moment to do so. <laughs> so. We've got Baroque frames, and this is probably the most traditional set of them all because it is the set of the, the decorated Baroque inspired frames. And they are, of course, um, window, sorry, window, mirror and uh, painting frames. Like, so that is the main inspiration here. But I added extra details you can use for um, decoration, and I added a bit of the detail myself. So I hope you like my choice. There is uh, whoa, a large rectangle frame with a lot of beautiful details. And uh, inside of this one, uh, I fitted this very nice plate frame. So these are all Baroque traditional style uh, furniture inspired pieces with the extra beautiful details you can use um, them on any kind of project and on furniture, of course. Then there is a large square frame. And in that one, I added my favorite screw heads in the corners as well. And there is also a smaller version of the same square frame. So we've got two, uh, two do sizes of the same design in here so one and two and i use the space and i put this cute um frame inside of that as well just in case <laughs> and for extra details here you can see there are some bits and pieces i added decors that you would find in the corners of the um, frames so different kind of decorations you can add them extra to other parts of the design as well. So that is in this set. And this is the set of the frames I used yesterday in this project. So the large frame is here. You can't see too much because it is sitting in the background. Then there is the medium sized frame and the mini size frame. So this is how they look like in real life. These are the frames painted, of course, with uh, extra details on the top, but uh, they were the base of that design. So, in fact, they are stuck in this way, <laughs> like, like this <laughs> on this project. So, Baroque frames and 
I can't really wait to see how they are going to be used because they. This is the style that works for every project, almost every project, and um, I think this is one of the most versatile molds. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm so happy that you like it. Oh, thank you! Uh, <laughs> you have done yourself with the details on this release. Ah, I was lucky to find a very nice element I could include. So thank you, thank you so much. And of course, I have to say this is a great uh, work of the people who are really make the physical molds as well. They are putting a lot of attention to the detail. That is uh, great on their side because then the results are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so Baroque frames, yeah, who needs them? <laughs> yep, this is uh, another example, very, uh, just to show you, I can do pastels as well. <laughs> and the second set, which is called Locks and Keys. This one has a very unique frame that was in fact the photo frame. Uh, and it has the shape of the large keyhole with two keys on the sides. And so I got inspired to add more of the similar elements to that mold. And so there are uh, little door plates, uh, the one that is co the covering the keyholes, uh, multiple keys of different shapes and sizes. There's even one key which is uh, for the clock. So why not? <laughs> This is the design of the large frame. I think it's absolutely unique. Uh, it had to be very cool frame, like photo frame. You can imagine your family in this big keyhole. That is amazing uh, design. Of course, this is vintage. I added extra details. I made sure this is the right size and shape. I took you know all the time to make sure it fits in the mold the way I wanted, but the concept is absolutely amazing. Somebody in the past designed this as a photo frame, and I think this is brilliant. I think this is brilliant. So whoever did that uh, object, <laughs> I would love to have an original frame like that. That would be so cool. So this one. And then there's a lot, a lot, a lot of the keyholes, keyhole plates. Um to go with that. Some of them are very simple because sometimes we just need simple. Some of them are more detailed. But just to show you the variety of the sizes, <laughs> there are even small ones like that. So if you make a small project, um, a card, ATC, maybe jewelry, you can um, also add little cute ones like this. I'm happy you love the frames. Yay! <laughs> I'm so, so happy. <laughs> I'm checking if you have the... If I'm checking if you have any problems, but I think this is just on one side, uh, end. Okay. So these are the ones I added here. I'm just going to put them quickly. And I want to show you the keys as well. And uh, <laughs> they're going to be great add-ons to projects, of course. I tried to pick different shapes and sizes and uh, to repeat them smaller as well, if possible, because you never know what size may be useful. This way I feel the, the mold as much as I could and we got a nice set of keys coming in the same mold, of course. So, you know, good value for money. You get so many elements from one mold. I really try to fit as much as I can and I sometimes believe people who are making the design later think like, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, they may secretly hate me for this, but I don't care. I want to have as much as possible. So locks and keys and baroque frames. Yeah, it is great value for money because you make 
multiple elements from one mold and they are really lasting for a long time so once you uh, get one mold then you can only just buy the material to put inside and reproduce the same element over and over again so i think this is good point uh to make a decision uh that that is in fact good investment so i hope you like my choices <laughs> so that was baroque frames and the keyholes and i'm going to show you four designs more well Elise, it is very possible that they don't have it yet because Prima only put it on the website today. So check in two or three days or contact them directly. Uh, they are going to be ship, you know, they're going to get them now. So they will be available in the shop in the coming two weeks. So this is not um, one hundred you know percent possible to make sure it is everywhere at the same time. Uh, so that is a um, good moment to let know your favorite retailer that you would like to get these ones so they know it is a good idea to show, uh, sorry, to check the web, Prima website and to place the order. So this is the time when they're going to show up. So, are you ready for something, again, a little bit edgy and creepy? <laughs> uh, I've got two sets, and they are kind of special. I don't really think uh, I've seen anything like it before, except, you know, maybe one element somewhere here and there. One is called Amun and Bust, and this is, of course, the name inspired by the Egyptian mythology, and uh, Amun was the god with the head of the ram and bust was the goddess with the head of the uh, cat so here they are in this mold and this one is not just good for halloween projects uh it's also <laughs> great for boho style because the skulls and wings if combined with the natural look they may create amazing designs and um, boho style is very natural so this is not a surprise there will be bones or um elements which are really natural like such as herbs and flowers together with the school of um uh, dead animals so i think that is going to be great boho inspiration and to show you the uh, details of these elements the largest one is of course uh, amun and bust they are large pieces and yeah, I'm sure you can imagine Bust as one of the Halloween features. <laughs> she has got very cute wings. And Amon is, it, it may be the sheep or it may be the longhorn cow, depending what you prefer. So you can go both ways, um, I think. And then, of course, in that set, there's a set of large uh, angel wings or large... Um, bird wings depending what you prefer with a really beautiful detail on the wings so i'm so happy that it came out the way i expected or even better so this set is possible of course to stack as before just to uh, just to show you some options how this one works together really nice sizes and there will be also baby Bust and baby Amun, so they're going to be smaller. And in that set, as before, a bit of detail such as screw heads of different sizes. And also a bit of pebbles, so just simple knobs you can put on the top. So just to show you what may happen, if you make a um, design with this, I made a project for my patrons again, and oh, this is Amun in the Boho style project, also combined with the bones from the previous release, 
and the large gear from the previous released the release as well. Oh, you, Carol said she loves that she loves Busted, so Bust is her favorite. <laughs> and you like the wings as well. I'm happy. They really look amazing. So you can get inspiration like that. And we have a smaller version of this one as well. It is called <laughs> Pieces of Underworld. I, I couldn't really come with more names. So there will be smaller versions of Amon and Bust here and smaller versions of the wings for the smaller projects. But also there will be a bit of pirate vibe in it because we added a human pirate school as well. This is like the top typical pirate school, of course. So there's one. And there will be different sizes of uh, Bust. Like medium size, medium size of Amun. And there will be really teeny tiny baby sizes as well. So this is the smallest possible bust, smallest possible pirate. I think one of the smaller Amuns as well. So they are really cute. <laughs> sizes of the wings go from this through this to this so there are three sizes of the wings in this set this is the same design just a different size so you have three pairs of wings In here, -ra 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 -ram -tum -tum. so you know, cards, smaller mixed media projects, layouts. It may be perfect angel wing, for example, or something completely different. And imagination is the limit. And the ones I really wanted to show you, which are very unique, these are chains. This is the chain with the hook. This is, of course, my um, my take on the pirate topic. There's a long chain like this. So you can add these details as well. Ball chain in two sizes. Ah. Yeah, and you can combine them. Uh, with these elements, making sure something is hanging down. Uh, there's a hook. And there are two hooks extra. So there's medium-sized hook and baby hook. <laughs> All of these come from that one mold. Okay? So in the, I didn't ever count the elements, but in this mold you will have... One, two... Oh my god. Two Amuns, three sizes of bust, two sizes of the schools, and on the top of that, three pairs of wings, and chains and hooks. So that is the project uh, I had on my mind for a long time, but um, finally it came to life, and I'm I'm, just, I'm so so excited that it worked so well. Thank you. I'm happy you like it. I should now ask, did you change your favorite one? What is your favorite now? <laughs> chains, exactly. <laughs> we need some chains for those grungy projects. <laughs> I made you excited. This is great. So, last but not least, drum roll. Are you ready for the last two? They're probably not too surprising, but 
I think they're very nice designs, so you're going to like them. Clocks. There is clock faces set, which is really with large, large designs, and there will be nice elements you can stack on each other. And pocket watches, a little bit more traditional, in fact, real life size as well. So mini pocket watches included into this one as well. So let's look at the uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the uh, clock faces. In fact, you could see this element here already. That is the large clock face from this mold. And I used it together with the moth to uh, create some uh, statement in the project. There's a lot of elements. Uh, they are all creating this grungy look, a lot of texture. So I wanted the moth really to stand out. And I used the large, uh, the large clock face, which is in fact a uh, real size clock face for the larger overmantel clock the one that you would put on your shelf. So <laughs> that may be a good example on, on how to use them. And this is the, the size of the clock face on my hand. Inside there is a mechanism as well. And there are really beautiful flowery details on the outside frame of the clock. And what is really nice, I love the Roman numerals. Um, they look very stylish in the clocks. So here we have both Arabic and Roman numerals. So, mm -hmm. and then on the top of that, the other large ones, it is large uh, clock face like this with the gear inside and pocket watch with the gear inside. Again, they are giving you the hints that you can stack one on the top of another if you want to. And um, this clock face, in fact, was featured behind the uh, Amun's head uh, at the project with the boho vibe in it as well. So I hope you can see it now. <laughs> that is painted in more sweet color palette. And then there are multiple clock faces. So if you'd like to add them to the project as a single one, of course you can. But you can also put them one on top of another, of course. Uh, you can play with gears, putting them one on the top of another and playing with the details quite nicely. You can see the both gears this way. So... I will show you the details of the clock faces here. Oops, sorry. I'm holding that the wrong direction. So they are wrist watches, pocket watches, and real clock ones. Really nice. And of course, all of them inspired by real objects. So that is fun when you can find um, something that was used in the past and um, alter it and make it special. So we have these ones here. I put them on this mold. And to compare, I will show you pocket watches set, which is um, in the same style, but of course the elements are a bit different. Elements are smaller. Okay. So the pocket watches frame, this one, you can stack many of these clock faces on the top of the empty ones as well. So you can again build uh, dimensional effects on your project. So pocket watches, the last one. That is the size of the empty pocket watch. Around and round empty pocket watch and the one with the clock face in it. <laughs> and another empty pocket watch. The one with the face. Uh, 
and then let's have a look at some of the faces these are the smaller versions of the ones that you can see here there's also this large mechanical element that you like and these three they fit perfectly into this one oh! so you can mix and match <laughs> if you want to you play the way you like with these Then we've got other sizes of the pocket, uh, sort of the fa clock faces and pocket watches, smaller ones. So there is one which is very cute here, really nice design. And then you can stack these ones inside easily as well. This one has a little bit more space, but it also fits nicely. Also, if you want to, you can break off this part and you can stack it in. Just showing you the options. And we've got years you can stack inside. If you'd like to, you can play and put gear inside of the pocket watch as well. Or you can build, again, multiple compositions. Oh. For example, like this. And finish that with the screw on the top. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go anywhere. It's easier when you glue it, of course. Oh. Oh. For example, like this. So you can mix and match and play. And of course, real uh, clock uh, faces or watches, they are going to fit inside as well because they're very similar to traditional uh, clocks, pocket size clocks and watches. So they are the ones you can play with. And this is number nine and number 10, clock faces and pocket watches. And this is the last project. I can just show you here one more design where the pocket watches were used. They were used here as elements in the composition. You can also see the frame, the one with the lock and the large pocket watch is in here. It's inspired by Alice in Wonderland. You can also see some of the keys from the mold with the keyhole frame. <laughs> so now I want to hear what are your favorites and what do you think about the the release endless possibilities yeah that's what I was hoping for that you can see the versatility and the option of mix and match and build I'm trying to keep them organized, but oh, those little elements, they like to run away. Yeah, that's a good question from Sharon. Do you have a favorite? <laughs> oh, thank you. Amazing. Oh, thank you. Now, the last one, in the, into the bag. Must-haves, that sounds awesome. I will just put them all together on the uh, table so you can see all of them once again. There's so much to like. All of them are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. My husband said that I need them all. Oh, I'm sure he is right. <laughs> I'm sure he is right. You shouldn't be arguing with your husband over this. So let me try to put it into the screen. Pocket watches. Clock faces. 
Amon and Bast, Pieces of Underworld. And Lock and Keys, Locks and Keys. And then Baroque Frames, Nocturnal Insects. Mecha Moth <laughs> and then um, Hearts Love Machine and Steampunk Hearts These are all molds from this release So now, you know, the thing to do <laughs> is to let your favorite shops know that uh, you would like to have them or maybe you'd like to place a pre-order so they know which ones you really want. Uh, you can check with the retailers because uh, Prima said they're already on the Prima website for ordering today. So all the shop owners, uh, they can order directly. And I know some of them, especially in Europe, they are planning to do pre-sale to make sure everything is going to come to you as quickly as possible. So I hope you like them. <laughs> and I hope you're going to make amazing art with them sorry for the uh, for the lamp i'm going to sit for a moment and read the chat thank you very much for watching and i hope that is going to keep you inspired over the next months <laughs> and um I uh, just want to remind you that if you'd like to see inspiration uh, with all these beautiful products, you should go to social media of Finover and also Prima Marketing and go, you're going to see plenty of amazing projects in different styles showcasing uh, designs from these molds. And keep an eye on our social media, so Facebook and Instagram. Uh, they're going to be short real videos showing as well. So I made some reels, but also my design team members, they made reels and Prima is posting cute videos as well. So they will be uh, the ones showing the molds, but also the way they may be used and also the project inspiration. So uh, this week is the time when everything officially starts. So checking our blogs, checking Prima website, checking Instagram for Finovar and Prima Marketing and uh, checking YouTube channel. It is going to be the place uh, where to look for ideas, inspiration and techniques. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, now I'm just waiting for everybody to say that, yeah, they arrived and we can start playing. Thank you for that time together. And keep your eyes on uh, the social media now. Uh, more of the little projects, videos coming this week for you. Huge thanks to Sharon and Holly. They were here all the time and the chat was going really quickly. So they were doing a great job. <laughs> uh, I just can't wait to get them uh, in my hands. So I will be sending them to my brand ambassadors as well. And they're going to prepare amazing products for you. I can see they're excited already. So you can expect more of the cool, cool stuff coming into internet to keep you going and inspired and to make this uh, next coming months really uh, the best possible creative time. Thank you. I'm so happy you like them. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for them for a long time. We had some delays with that release and I wanted them to be in my hands much earlier but in the end it all is uh, ready it is here Prima is shipping so you can place orders with the shops the shops can place orders with the uh, wholesalers and with Prima and everything can get into your hands uh, as quickly as possible thank you and have a wonderful creative week keep your eyes open